Hi, my name is Pong Nguyen. I'm here with Jameson Blanford and Mary Lamy. We're technical marketing engineers in the wireless networking business unit at Cisco Systems. Guys, we're surrounded by a whole bunch of laptops. What are you gonna be showing us today? We're here to test high density performance between competing wireless LAN infrastructure vendors. Jameson, what is a high density environment? A high density environment is a large number of wireless clients in a small physical confined space. You mean like a classroom lecture hall, that kind of thing? Exactly. It could be also a conference room or a trade show environment. Would we be in a high density environment and not even know it? That's very well possible. With the explosion of smartphones and other Wi-Fi enabled devices, many people are carrying two or more wireless clients, creating extra load on the network. So Jameson, how is the high density environment different than the wireless environment at my home? So a high density environment requires that you deliver the aggregate bandwidth to all the clients fairly. Fairly? What do you mean by fairly? Well, fairness, I mean in terms of bandwidth delivery. So each application has a minimum level of performance that it requires. So delivering all the bandwidth to each client means that everybody gets a fair slice of the pie. Samir, how are you testing high density performance? Well, Paul, we set up 60 clients in a 80 by 50 foot typical enterprise environment consisting of cubicles and offices. Samir, what type of clients did you use? Well, we have a mix of Dell and Lenovo laptops with built-in Intel 802.11n chipset. So guys, who are the competing vendors that we'll be testing today? Well, Paul, today we're testing Cisco's AP1140 versus Aruba's AP125 and Aruba's AP105. And Jameson, how is this test configured? We configured each vendor's access point with a 20 megahertz channel in 2.4 in a 40 megahertz wide channel in five gigahertz. Then we associated all the clients and split them evenly between the radios. So guys, what type of test tool are you using here? We're actually using Bearwave's Wave Insight console application to drive traffic from their WT90 chassis down to Bearwave Wave agents running on the end user PCs. And what kind of application are you using? We're actually using a TCP traffic load in the downstream direction with an intended load of two megabits per second. Now we've also set up an SLA stating that if any client falls below 50% of the intended load, that's one megabit per second, they have failed the test. All right, Mir, let's go ahead and get started testing. Okay, let's go. A test is running on Cisco AP1140. And as you can see on my WTS, I have two radios and 60 clients. If we go to the client side, Jameson, what do you see out there? So as I walk about the room, I'm looking at the bandwidth meter, noticing that each client is getting a fair slice of the pie. They're all getting an even amount of bandwidth being shared from the access point, which means that their application will perform well and the end user will be happy. Mir, let's go to you and check out the end result. So we got the, the result and we got 100% passed. It seems like all the clients passed the SLA. Now we are running a test on Aruba AP105. If we go to Aruba, Aruba's controller, Aruba 6000, and if we see uh, the AP type, AP105, and we have two radios enabled, 30 clients on each. And um, let's go to the client side and see what's going on there. Jameson? So as I walk around the room, I'm seeing that some clients are getting really good performance right next to other clients that are essentially being starved of bandwidth. Now, this means that the level of performance between users and applications it's going to be very variable. Some users are going to be unhappy with their level of performance. Mir, let's go to you and check out the results. Okay, here we just got the results and 
It seems like 15% of the clients have not passed the SLA. So that means 15% of the users are going to be complaining about poor bandwidth and a poor user experience. Clearly, the Aruba AP105 does not meet the challenges of a high density environment. Now we are running the same test on Aruba's AP125. Let's take a look at the Aruba controller. Aruba 6000, and as you see under AP types, we have AP125. We have both radios enabled, and we have 30 clients under each radio. Let's take a look at the client side. Jameson, how are we doing on the client side? So if I look around the room, the bandwidth meter shows that the majority of the clients are getting the intended load. They're getting a decent amount of throughput. But other clients, notably some of those over here, are performing very poorly. Clearly the Aruba system preferring other clients and unfairly starving others of bandwidth. Now Amir, back to you for the official results. Here we got the results. And it clearly shows that 12% of the clients did not need the SLA. So thanks, Jameson and Mir. You know, this is a very interesting test that we've done today. What have we learned? Well, we've shown that Cisco understands the challenges of high density wireless LAN environments and proven that we outshine the competition in these demanding scenarios.